Hey, yo, I got an awesome video for you guys today. My five, no, that's ten, five best landing spots in Fortune's Keep. Let's get it. All right now, I'm going to take you to number five, baby. Number five, my fifth best location for Fortune's Keep drop. Let's get it. We got our fifth best drop. Hold out until the countdown is complete. Oh, is that Grotto? No, three. Graveyard, baby. We're going Graveyard. Graveyard is super, super, super easy to get in and get out while looting. Uh, you literally loot this whole thing in like two seconds, bro. You can get your guns, you know, and you can get your kills like that. Full shield already got a kill within the first 30 seconds of landing. I mean, come on, chat. Y'all see why this is good. So, one thing I like about Graveyard most of the lobby lands out, you can get there pretty quick. Um, there's a lot of people at town, you can come over here, especially stay on top of these buildings, get a few picks. Don't see anything like I just saw then. Then you can easily rotate either over to Grotto or you can go over here to the terraces or keep. And get in some action pretty quick after you kill everybody graveyard um but yeah that's a, that's that's my main reason why i like that it's just so easily accessible to all the map um you know, see look right here easy come on now three four number four let's keep baby let's keep Survive the countdown. So when I jump in, I typically like to hit these front the flats area. I like to look around see where they're going. But most of them are just like, hunt the enemies before they hunt you. You get a gun quick here. You get set up. I mean, you're you're straight at like at this point, like hey, you can't ask for better better loot and shit right there. So now the hunt begins, and this is the reason why I keep this lower on my list. Just because, look how much work I'm having to do to just get this one guy. And he's right there. Now, had I not been, you know, just an amazing cosplayer, like, that was probably a death for me. But, since that guy was shit, and I'm just better. I can get in, get out, have my chase me. Oh my god. And that's uh, what I'm talking about, is you cannot predict your fights well. Make your way to the safe zone. Alright, YouTube, number three, baby. Survive the We're going gatehouse. Gatehouse is like high ground for the middle of the map. This is why I like going there. It's pretty easy. Hopefully I don't get landed on. You do have to watch that in this this uh on this map. So I have one land here. We gotta figure this kid out real quick. Oh, uh, there he is, he's dead. Alright, so now the best thing about gatehouse is that I can control where I'm going oh my god maybe not I can control where I'm gonna go what gunfights I'm gonna take I'm back in it if I want to reposition it's very easy to reposition down here um but yeah I Enemy hear this guy nearby. he's looking for me obviously I mean it is what it is Enemy UAV I'll shoot active. a little bit fuck with him See if I can get him to maybe over chow or do something. But yeah, gatehouse. Now, you know, I'm set up. I got high ground on him. Whichever way he wants to come to me, I got high ground. Um, I see there's kids over here at church. So what I actually like to do is like, wait till I see some, some fights going on. Come in third party. Look, this... Alright, chat. Or alright, uh, YouTube baby. Number two on the list. Look at all these guys jumping down, going everywhere, but we're going to the money. Yo, it's winery, baby. We're going to get drunk. We're going to get wine drunk and cry a little bit, but I love this place, bro. 
and get in right here. Boom, already got a kill. Bang. Shout out. Somebody shout me out. Come on. Boom. Temper. Don't even need a plate. Don't even need a plate. Come on. Medical syringe. Uh, Armor Garrett. Whoa! Whoa! Enemy UAV. Are you shooting me? Come on, Bonehead. Look at this guy. It's like the go. It's, uh, I would compare it to, let's say, Control on Rebirth. Um, it's going to be hot almost every single time. And there's going to be good players here. I mean, there's just, that's just usually how it is. But if you're also a good player and you're ready to get mixy, bro, this is a, this is a really, really, really good spot. Um... One thing about winery is like you can really check everywhere. Um, UAV Woo. But yeah, uh, winery. Like I said, all we got kids. People are drop shot like crazy on this at this area. Enemy UAV active. Um, but what I was talking about with do shots in replay get away. Um, but it's just a really good spot to go. Um, there's a buy here most of the time, which is great for getting loadout early if you're one of those guys that just love to grab loadout off the roof. Personally, I don't really care about loadouts as much as I care about just getting good guns. So, like, what I got right now, Automaton MP40, that's cool with me. Looks like Winery's pretty dead now. Oh, there's kids over here. Oh, there's a kid right here. I just heard you. Friendly loadout drop on the way. Hostile dropping into the area. And, you know, he's gone. So we just got five kills off the rip like that. The single best place to drop in fortunes keep. Let's get it. We're going to Top Grotto, bro. Top Grotto. <clears throat> we got a buy play. here. Make Multiple buildings that are easy to loot. Right in the center of the map. A great area to be able to control your, your gunfights. I always land in this building because there's always guns here. And there's always kids landing right in front of me just like that. So, uh, yeah. Got that kid. Let me just regen here. I got crazy real quick. And there's a guy on me. But yeah, that was wild, chat. Four of them dropped in the same spot. This guy's looking for me. He found me. Here's the thing about Grotto, bro. Even if you die, you're like, oh crap, that person was really bad that killed me. They're like, wow, I got third party. That sucks. I always just land right off. Possibly find a gun real quick. Enemy yeah, UAV right. active. You always just grab your shit back. It's super easy to do. Look at this. I'm getting a third party. Enemy dropping into the AO. Free, basically. This kid's that kid's weird, bro. Got a little stolen kill right there. I'm gonna run away from that real quick. There's always kids coming up from right here. I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy. See, this is a cool thing about Grotto, bro. You've got like, you can really ahead. change up your direction, pick your thoughts accordingly. Like right there, dude. 
I was able to back off that one guy, uh, come over here, reposition, get two kills. And now, I'm back in the driver's seat. Once I, once I get shields, I'll be fine again, you know? Boom, right here. We got two shields Enemy radar, you know? jab, I detected in your area. So you can just really control this area, even if you die off the rip. Like, it's it's a very easy area to overtake. Enemy soldiers um, nearby. The Enemy one negative thing about it is, like, it can get real mixy real quick. And, uh... Enemy UAV if you want to call that a negative thing, me personally, I would... I prefer to play like this. We got six. There's still 35 up. I mean, this is about the most ideal start you can have other than me dying right off, there, off the rip, you know? I got people trying to push me. I got people landing here. Positive ID on the bounty target. Let's make this quick. Throwing down armor boxes. Plenty of loot here, too. I think that's one of the most underrated things about this. Is like, because you have all these little buildings in this area. And they're all so easy to loot, and they all have a crap ton of loot. Gas is closing this is in. the way I You're like to play it. I like to kind of just Enemy dropping into the AO. pick and choose. I did see that guy up there, but I like Most to make uh, some wraps around this area. Now we've got him singled like out. He's on the buy. He's dying. Enemy I'm just playing with him. Yeah. And then there we go. We're... We're 8,000, 8, 7 kills, 33 up. I'm buying the loadout right away. Loadout, it really online. doesn't get much better for start than this. And what's crazy, Chad, is like... Like, this isn't like a good start on this, on this map right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really the... Uh... Woo, about got shit on me. Oh! We got eight loadout. People dropping back. These guys are landing here. I'm going after this one specific guy. I'm trying to get him out of my lobby. He acted real weird last time. Where'd you go, buddy? Boom. In and out. That's basically how you uh you land at Grotto. I haven't really left the Grotto area. I'm going underneath, going back up to here. But you could just stay this area the entire game, honestly. So easy to get in and out. So so easy. So easy to reposition here. And then. A lot of times, bro, like, the pacing of this either gets really mixy or, like, it's the perfect, uh, the perfect pacing for dropping high school games. You're able to, to get a few kills and maybe a, a few more guys Enemy show up because they hear nearby. the shots over here. But, like, for the most part, like, it's not the main landing spot for everybody, airstrike but it's a good landing target. spot. Phoenix three. Now, Strike see, I'm out. airstriking this, bro. And there's two kids right there. Bang. He's dead. Yo fam, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, drop a like, leave a comment on what your favorite place is to drop on Fortune's Keep, and as always, stay frosty.